couple of weeks ago, I had to run some errands, and I just wasn't feeling that well that day. I felt kind of crappy, just wasn't feeling it. And I'd gotten all ready to go, drug myself out of bed, got uh, put on my gun belt, gun, all that, whole nine yards. And I'm standing there by the door ready to leave, and you know what? I just wasn't feeling it. And it gave me the idea to do this video. So I'm going to do my top five tips uh, on how to carry when you're lazy, don't feel well, or it just ain't happening that day. So with that, here's my list. All right, so for my first scenario, say it's 2 o'clock in the morning and you need to run out for, to Walmart for one reason or another. And we've all had to run out to Walmart at 2 in the morning. We all know what it's like. We know how odd and weird it can be going out there. So, you're wearing pajamas, you're wearing the sweatpants, whatever you might be wearing uh, at that point in the night, you know, we, nobody judges, and you need to run out, and you don't feel like putting on normal clothes, you don't want to put on something that requires you to wear a belt so you can have your gun, but you definitely want your gun because, hey, Walmart's interesting that time of night. Uh, for that, I give you ankle carry. This is a Galco ankle glove. I really like it. But the nice thing about uh, ankle carry is you don't need a belt. You don't need to have a pants that require you to wear a belt. You can basically wear any kind of long pair of pajama pants, sweatpants, or whatever you might want to wear, and slap this on, and away you go. So uh, for me, uh, a lot of times, you know, if I'm wearing pants but not don't feel like putting a full-size gun on, this is what I carry. So that's my first idea, is ankle carry. For my next idea, uh, say you're not wearing long pants, say it's 95 degrees outside and you just ran out of iced tea and you need to run the two blocks down the street to the corner store and get yourself another gallon of iced tea so you don't die from the miserable heat. Uh, I give you pocket carry. Pocket carry is great because you don't need long pants. And once again, you don't have to have a belt on or anything like that. And it's as simple as take gun, put in pocket holster. I always recommend a pocket holster of some sort. When you're pocket carrying, cover the trigger guard and keep some of the lint and dirt out of the gun. And away you go. Uh, I found it to be really nice, especially as a low profile carry. But especially if you're just not feeling it that day, it's super simple, doesn't require anything extra. And especially like this, this is a 14 ounce gun. Uh, you can get even lighter guns than that. You don't, you forget it's there and yet you're still protected. So that is my number four idea. All right, so for number three idea, I'm gonna title this one Clip Grip. Although there's a bunch of different companies making the same basic item for a bunch of different guns. So what a clip grip is, and once again, I'm just using a broad term, is usually it's a, a clip that attaches to the side of your gun. So we use a 638 as an idea. Yes, it's unloaded for the safety Nazis. Um, and it usually attaches a clip on the side of the gun, side of the frame, or sometimes it's actually built into the grips. And what you can do is you can take this, tuck this in your waistband. Now, some people do it without a holster. I usually do it with a pocket holster. So I'll do, if I have the grip on, I will put this. Now, I usually use like an Uncle Mike's holster, but I'm just gonna use this as an example because it's the same basic thing, just does not have the hook. And you can take this, tuck this in your waistband, inside the waistband carry. Uh, benefits of this over having an inside the waistband holster is you do not need a belt for this. This literally, most of them just hook onto the inside of your pants and you're good to go. Uh, also, I found that doing it is, a, this method is a little bit less bulky than inside the waistband holster because the clip is actually attached to the gun, not to the holster. It's just a little less bulk and it's a lot easier to just grab this out of a drawer, tuck this in your waistband and away you go. Do not recommend trying that with sweatpants and stuff because they don't really have enough retention to uh, hold everything together. But uh, that's my number three idea. And so for number four, let's say you're damned and determined. You're gonna carry that full-size gun. You don't care that you feel like crap. Uh, you don't care it's three in the morning. You're, you're going outside, you're carrying your full-size gun. Um, this, this ain't good enough for you. 
So at that point, I recommend shoulder rigs. The nice thing about shoulder rigs is, and granted this only works if it's cool enough outside to wear a jacket of some sort or some type, some type of cover garment. Uh, the nice thing is, is they don't ride on your belt. Uh, when you've got a full-size gun on your belt with a spare mag and all that extra stuff, and plus your keys and other crap in your pockets, that's a lot of weight. And especially if you feel crappy, cranky, miserable, achy, uh, having you know a full-size gun ride against your hip can be kind of annoying. It's two weeks ago. That's pretty much the situation I was in. And shoulder rigs are nice because it disperses the weight over your shoulders. And compared to on your hip, having you know two pound, three pound, you know four pound of gun and ammo and accessory, uh, it's almost nothing. So it's real nice because once again, you can be wearing sweatpants, sleep pants, whatever you're wearing. And if you've got a shirt on, you can put them on, put that on, and then put your jacket or your sweatshirt or whatever on over top of that, and go along with your uh, day. So I really like shoulder rigs. I wear them a lot, even when I do feel well. In fact, I uh, really like them for basically any time in fall, leading up to early spring, until we get into the miserable weather that we are in currently right now but I definitely like shoulder rigs. So that is my number four. All right, and for number five, I give you buddy carry. Now you might think buddy carry is, well, hey, if I'm running out somewhere, I call up a buddy and have them, we, we go somewhere together and they got a gun on them and they'll keep me safe. No, uh, way ahead of you on that. In fact, I'm gonna demonstrate buddy carry right now by calling up a buddy. Hey buddy, how's it going? <coughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling too well, man. Oh, you reached a girlfriend? Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I feel real bad. Hey, um, <laughs> uh, do you think you could do me a favor? And, uh, I really need that new Call of Duty. Yeah, I, I know, man, I know. It, it's a big favor I'm asking, but, oh, I feel really bad. It would make me so much, uh, it would make me get better so much faster if I, if I had that new Call of Duty. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's your anniversary. Oh, man. Well, you know, it'll only take like five minutes, right? Nah, I really, oh, I really appreciate this, man. You're awesome, buddy. Yeah, you're, 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 you're really, I owe you one, buddy. All right, thanks. And that's Buddy Carry. Uh, this is my list. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, I'd like to hear what you think about the, uh, my top five. And also let me know, uh, this is my new background. I just redid some things, changed some stuff around. First time uh, using it in a video. So let me know what you think and uh, have a good day.